Hey, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So it is day two of the Top Step 100K Trading Combine. And overall, I feel like I did a good 6.5 or 7 out of 10. Now, obviously, let's break it down in each category, starting with number one, my trading psychology and mentality. Last night, I slept pretty late. So waking up this morning, I had over eight hours of rest, but I felt still really unsettled and tired and just really out of it. Now, that kind of connects to the rest of my life, though. I feel like I've been all out of whack with like the gym, with trading, with content creation, with other things in my life. And all I'm focused on right now is just going out to have a good time with my friends and my family, going to the pool, going to Hawaii to be laid out, get some, get some drinks, like just having a good time. Like with summer, I'm a big summer kid. So that's what I'm really focused on. But obviously I got to get work done. I got to make sure I'm not just fooling around. And I think my mind really wants to get to that level because it's summer. I, I just love to be outside. So with that being said, really have to adjust and really sit down with myself to make sure I'm aligned with all parts of my life, including trading. And that's why my mindset isn't so focused on trading and how I'm performing. You know, I'm just I'm kind of being reckless and careless in a way. With category two is my strategy. So on the day, I'm still focusing on scalping. I think my mind is also set on the whole trailing drawdown that I'm used to with other accounts. But with Top Step, which is amazing of them to have, is the end of day drawdown. So instead of like intraday where it's trailing my unrealized gains, it's the end of the day when the session's over when it actually adjusts my drawdown. So that's really good news in my opinion, but I think I have to really adjust my way of thinking about it and realizing that that is in place so having a little bit more faith with letting my runners run to certain levels instead of just keeping it really short and keeping it to like the point um with my overall performance in category three like i said 6.5 or 7 out of 10 the reason why i say that is because my psychology is not all here i'm really not all in it i just don't feel like it just like i said in day one and it's in connection with everything in my life going on so i really have to sit down with myself um as far as the execution part of the trading, not just the mental part. Um, I think that I could have stepped away from trading earlier, you know, after I secured the first batch of my trades, um, after I was done recording, which I didn't even realize I was even going to go into a trade until I did. I made about $100 on the very last trade that I did not record. And it was when NASDAQ, end of day, today's July 11th, when it ran up so many points. I think it was like 40 points it ran up or 50 points. Um, I did take a trade in that and instead of having patience, I only took $100 worth of a gain there and then in my other two combines that I have, I actually ran it up and I, I made quite a bit of a killing on that. So, you know, it, it's just a lot of things in connection with not having patience, not being all in it for trading, um, not executing on the plan that I see or the way that the charts are playing out and the price action, you know, so that's why I think 6.5 is pretty solid to, to rate myself. But that's the end of all the categories in the breakdown. So let's go ahead and jump into the live trades. So I got into this long here and I thought I had my copy trader on, but I didn't. So I'm in two contracts for this 100K combine and I meant to have two contracts as far as one contract for the 100K and then another hundred or and then another contract for my other combine. But it is what it is. I'm gonna play off of what I'm seeing right now anyways. Um, <clears throat> I do wanna come for this 10 point move to 20s, for able to have a sweep through the 20s to get through 25. So we're waiting right now, we're five points in on this trade, six points, seven points. Here we go, we're about to get tagged. Now I've been noticing online that a lot of people have been having like technical issues. So there's our first contract taken off having a lot of te technical issues so i gotta be very observant as to like where i'm actually getting out of the trade um but i got into this one specifically because we're having so much liquidity to the upside as you can see here it's looking really nice as far as pushing through and pushing higher <clears throat> we had the bounce off of our point of control it's just like a similar trade from yesterday now i do want to try to get to 25 30 area but I'll have to be open to accepting maybe just 20 um, if we don't have the continuation. This is the five minute chart. Let me zoom out a little bit for all of you guys. There you go. So that's 20. We're hitting 20 right now. I'm going to come through our book map again. So yeah, so much liquidity right here. I might We might get stopped at 30. Like slap for a quick pullback and then a push to the upside. 
but we're just gonna watch this. We're gonna just try to be patient with letting this play out. There we go. Let's get that push through 25. I'm raising it, my TP. I've raised it 26.75 now. I wanna see a continuation through 30. I'm gonna raise it higher. We're gonna stay at 27 now. Okay, our original TP would have been hit. Here's 27.50, perfect, we just got filled. All right, so I'm still holding this trade right now. Um, and with three cons, I scaled in one more, that's why. So I had two on here. And then I scaled in an extra one, just clicking for this push right here to the 20s. Still waiting on that same area. Um, looking at our book map, you can see we have so much liquidity just in here. So if we were to at least bust through that, we'll definitely snag at least right above 20 for all the stops. That's if, again, if we're able to bust through it. <clears throat> but looking at the reaction of the market right now, it's just kind of hesitating, but we did have consolidation, a breakout. I want to stay out of this consolidation. We had this bounce of this long five minute candle right here off the 21. So that might give us a little bit of, you know, a push. But either way, we want to just see a squeeze through, you know, 18 to 21 area. That is, that's what I'm looking for right now. Um, just trying to, trying to stay patient as possible. It's getting a little annoying, granted, a little annoying. So here's 18. I wanna take off one here at 18. So let's take that one off first, if we can. Just so we can lock it in, there we go. Now we're looking for this, this 20. Okay, I'm getting ready on 20. Okay, okay, now 21. Let's grab the stop. Oh, grab the stop. Okay, well, it grabbed some of the stops, but it didn't grab me. <laughs> All right, well, uh, no worries. We're still going to be patient because it got through the first time. It might go for an attempt number two here. You got it. We're sitting around 18, 19, 18, 19. Okay, so it grabbed all the liquidity at this point. So let's try to snag me out. 21. Perfect. All right. Beautiful. My, uh, earlier it was 21.25. I just moved it to 21 because I was just getting antsy at that point. But uh, for sure done now. Um, with all the trades I've taken, I'm just, I'm really not feeling it anymore. I just don't feel like I'm executing well today. So uh, on the day, we're sitting at 653.36 with um, $36 in fees. And that is a wrap for day two of the 100k trading combine with top step i think we're in a pretty solid pace right now to get to the six thousand dollar profit target we are about 30 percent complete a little over eighteen hundred dollars in profit and and honestly i'm not really in a rush to get to that funded account i just want to be able to get there you know baby steps and try not to force anything to happen but that's going to be hard really got to manage my discipline with everything but if, for those that are really good at making a lot of money in a day, if you guys are interested to trade with Top Step, you can earn funding in as little as four trading days. So feel free to sign up with my link in the description. But other than that, I do wish you guys nothing but the best and most success in your trading journey. I'm going to go to the poll and I'll see you all later.